We are finally live. On air. Oh my God. I'm, now I'm really excited. <laughs> uh, for anyone that, that ends up tuning into this. So this is Maria. She's uh, all the way from Israel in Tel Aviv. Uh, she's got a, an incredibly amazing drink called uh, Goracha. Uh, we're, we're, having, we're having a little bit of a laugh right now because we spoke for 40 minutes yesterday and... <laughs> And it didn't I, record I anything. I forgot to hit record. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, man. Um, it's two days, two two radical hangouts with you. It feels like it's my absolute pleasure. <laughs> but uh, you know, so as you said, it will be shorter, and we'll like just do it the the right topics, and not yeah. fast about the whole life of. How is being a bartender and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah so so what we're going to talk about today, um, for those that end up tuning in, we're going to talk about uh, how to make um, a Bacardi Legacy promo video, uh, how you should go about doing it, the positives, the negatives, and how to build uh, on, on that, and also how to think outside the box to use the, the, the best platforms that you can to really get your video out there and gain the most traction that you can, right? Yeah. Cool. So for, um, for anyone that doesn't know Maria or who, who hasn't seen her, um, Maria, please tell tell everyone a little bit about yourself. Tell them about your, your, your amazing drink and uh, and kind of where you are right now uh, in Bacardi Legacy. So uh, as Andy said, I'm Maria and I'm working behind the bar already for uh, six years. Uh, I started uh, during the army because I felt like this routine of the day is like I'm getting really bored, so I wanted to learn something new. And I did a course, bartending course, and uh, since then I fell in love in this uh, hospitality business, and I'm still continuing with it. And then, um, you know, as the years pass by, and it's like, okay, what is the next challenge I, I can make? So you try and like, you start from small competitions as Finlandia and uh, be fitter. And then you said, okay, I'm going to do Bacardi Legacy. And this is my second time that I'm doing Bacardi Legacy. I did in 2014, I think, yeah. Uh, and I got to the semifinals. Uh, it was really interesting experience. It was my first competition. Uh, I was the only woman, so I'm really proud of myself here in Israel. And that's it. Now I'm back and I'm in the top three in Israel. And about Guaracha. So um, Guaracha is a music style that was developed in the end of 18th century in Cuba, of course. It has its roots in Spain in West uh, Africa. So it's really happy music. It's really energetic music. You want to dance, you want to play with your friends, this music. And music have a big, has a big part in my life. I was a dancer like around 12 years. And I think in each person's life music have a big part as well because we like cleaning the house with music or we like driving the car with music and you know sometimes you're depressed and you you're going to to listen to some uh, your favorite artist and then you're going to be much more happier and this is what i wanted to do and music it's like making people feel much more closer when you're dancing or when you're playing it together, a guitar, sitting next to a fire, I don't know, or even at home. So this is the main idea behind my Bacardi Legacy cocktail, to, to feel people more connecting to each other, to, to make new relationship and to feel more open. That's yeah, it, it, it's, it's such a great premise uh, for a drink. And, and I think it's, it's almost one of those concepts that seems so... Uh, we're so used to it, right? That you don't really see legacy drinks that focus in on music because it feels like, um, how can I express it? It feels almost like people want to, they want it, they want their story to be so heavy and so emotional and so deep. And, and sometimes yes. you don't need, sometimes you don't need that. Sometimes you just need to take a step back and realize like, you know, the, the simple things in life and, and the simple things that bring us together and make us happy, right? It's true. It's true. You're like all the people talking about you know, it's a great topics as well. Don't get uh, misunderstood, but absolutely, yeah. You know, but it's like and the connection to the family, and you know, 
each person like uh, getting his own creativity from different types of um, things in life. So I decided like, to take the, you know, in my opinion, the basic one, music, and let's like, and I think it's easy topic because you can make a lot of activity, activities with it. Like my, my promo is if we're going back to my uh, video. So to do a music uh, video that it would, it's crazy. So it's really easy because if people are dancing, even you saw the last um, commercial for Bacardi that they are dancing yeah. and uh, you see only the feet. And I was like, look at it. It's wow. I want to drink Bacardi after this uh, commercial. So yeah. And, and well, you know, one thing uh, for those that, that end up tuning in, uh, the reason why I wanted to speak to Maria was because her, um, her legacy videos uh first you, you're one of the first to create the promo video uh and second of all your video is fantastic it's it's really emotive um it's re it's really captivating and you know and it's it's one of the main reasons why i reached out to you uh to get you on on the hangout and uh one thing i know uh, i haven't done uh, promo videos before and it's this whole legacy thing is really new to me as well. Um, but, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to find out your experience. I wanted to find out how you went about, you know, getting this video done. Did you call favors in from friends, you know, talking about the venue, you know, there's so much that goes into creating a video and that's not even creating a good video, you know, to create a great video that captures your entire story in one minute and 20 seconds. is yes. really It's really difficult. It's really difficult, yeah. So, you know, so, can you please tell, uh, tell, every, tell everyone, like, how did you get in contact with uh, the videographer, the actors? Um, so when I got to the top three, I said, I'm going to do a video because I think it will show the, the real idea behind my cocktails. You know, not only guest shifts and uh, promos, like, on Instagram and social media. And I said, I'm going to do uh, this video. And maybe you heard about Barshira from Imperial Cocktail Bar yeah. that he was in 2018. Uh, I looked at his video and it was like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. I want to do something like this. For anyone and who I doesn't know, yeah, it, Barshira, the, the, the owner, he made a drink called El Camillo Loco. Uh, go check it out on YouTube. It's a, it's a hilarious video. It's a hilarious video, and it and, and as you said, it's like one twenty, uh, one minute and twenty seconds, and you're like sitting like that. And you wow, and just like speechless. So I said, I'm, I'm, I will try to do something like that, you know, with a different concept, with a different idea. So as I started to think about what I'm going to do, uh, I was calling a lot of um, salsa clubs that that I will shoot there because I talked to the restaurant where I work, and they said there is no no worry that you can uh, shoot the the first episode. You can shoot here. There's no problem on a Saturday or Friday because it's like we have a period that we are not working. And it was easy, this one, because I'm working there. But then to connect to people, the owners of the salsa club, it was difficult. It was, I think, one month of hard working, like SMS and calling them and please let me and like maybe I will put your logo in the end of the of the video that like promote you as well, not only myself. It was a lot of discussions until I found someone. I think I talked with him twice and he said, okay, just come whenever you want and let me know. And then I called him when I'm outside the club, listen, I'm here to shoot and like, who are you? <laughs> it was so funny. And I said, uh, Maria, we talked like two weeks ago. We said just to come. Oh yeah, yeah, just come in. You have like one hour to shoot because you know there is a lot of dancers they are practice uh, before um, the, the party starts they have like their lessons of a uh, salsa rumba bachata and so i came like before the party starts but like in the middle so he said like you have like 40 minutes to shoot and about the photographer and the dancer so the dancer was studying with me uh, since the first grade until uh, the 10th i think and as I said yesterday, we didn't been in touch for five years. And then I just called her and I said, listen, I need your favor. I can pay you if you want, I will pay you. I don't know, let's go to a restaurant or something, catch up. She said, no, I will do it. I, I would love to. 
because uh, it's promoting her as well because she's uh, uh, teaching uh, dancing as well and the photographer i've been a photographer in the army but i was doing more stills and uh, the girl that was with me she's amazing editor and amazing video shooter so i had the luck she like was like i really love to do that and it helped her as well because she have like another work to show to other people if she want to get another job like this is what i, I did not all, she was shooting weddings and said okay i can do something else as commercial to a competition or to a cocktail and to shoot like in a restaurant or in a club so i can do them both and it was like really helpful for her and of course for me <laughs> Yeah, you know, yesterday we spoke about uh, finding this this golden this golden line, right? Yeah, we we spoke about that. Legacy is all about trying to use your contacts and trying to make sure that everybody profits off that. And it, it's so easy, you know, to to use people and to take advantage of people. And if you're if you're careless and if you're um, if you're not if you if you're not taking care of your relationships, you can really you can damage friendships, right? That's uh, true. And legacy isn't about that. Legacy is about okay. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, Bacardi gives the the most promising. They give them roughly twelve hundred US dollars, and they say, okay, good luck. We'll see you in three or four months. Um, go make the best of what of what we've given you. And so you have to factor in, well, where is that money going to go? And oftentimes we think to ourselves, well, you know. Should I invest that money in a promo video when a promo video could really cost me a thousand dollars, you know, for high quality? So you need to be able to go over. You need to be able to have a look at uh, at, at who you have in your uh, in your relationship circle, and who can you help, and and how could how could you help them benefit off this project as well? It's true. It's true. And you know, um, I was a little bit stupid because she was the the third pe person that I talked to. I was talking like to another friend that we are not really were in contact, and they gave me like a price, and I said like, "Oh my gosh, this is all my uh, money that I got from the competition. I cannot spend it all this just on the promo video." And I said to them, "All right, I understood. It's really hard working as well for you, but I will say no because it's too expensive for me." And then I talk, and you said, as you said, this is why we have friends, and we, and I think it make me much more closer with them after this project, because we were like running from place to place. Okay, we have forty minutes to shoot here, so let's do it. Our let's do our best, and then like, okay, Maria, stop laughing, be an actor, and I'm like, mm, I need to be like really fine, and it's hard for me, because all this situation, like uh, talking to a camera, and you know being the cool bartender to put the Bacardi and the lime and stuff like that. I was so laughing. And then and then my mom came because she was so like, oh my gosh, you want to see what you're doing? And then she was start yelling at me, Maria, be serious. <laughs> it was hilarious. Yeah, but, you know, it, it, everyone can, you know, it's things, sometimes you have to think outside the box, right? Sometimes uh, not everything is money. And and you have to be really open with with uh, those who you're dealing with, and be able to say to them like, hey, you know, Bacardi gave me twenty four bottles. Yeah. Do you want five bottles? I'll give you five bottles of rum, or even like I'll come and 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 I'll do a you know I'll get your family together. I'll be your bartender for a night. You know, you, you use and leverage uh, what you have. You know, in in other situations, and oftentimes, you know, um, people are so willing to help you, and and they're so willing to be part of this amazing journey and this project with you. If they know that they're going to get promotion, if they know that maybe there's a little kickback financially, maybe there's product on on stake or a free dinner, or you know, it, you have to exhaust all options before you really run down the barrel of spending all your money. Yes, it's true. Yeah, and so and then. And then we we also we, we spoke about okay well what does a promo video get you, All right? Because it's super fun to make a video. It's really creative. It's a great outlet. But why are you doing it? You know what what what's the gain uh, out of out of this investment? Both financial, both time, both emotionally. You know, one thing that I got to give my hat off to you is the fact that you just kept on pushing through, going venue after venue after venue, trying to find the right place. Yeah, but what do you want to get out of your video? 
to to show the real like you know we're talking about music and we're talking about passion to music and dancing and you can talk about this till tomorrow but when you're hearing the music and when you seeing someone dancing and you seeing someone like shaking that for me shaking is kind of a dance as well because when you're shaking everybody's looking at you you create like and each bartender has its own style style of shaking and you kind of create your own music so while if you people seeing it and hearing it i think you can you, you get more emotional and you may, can feel more connected or you know to, to understand the the real idea behind it because i'm talking you know music music yeah guaracha nice cuba and let's be connected and together but when you see like an amazing dancer dancing with other people and she's holding the guaracha and it's all about like salsa and a little bit of passion but you know not too sexy and everything is like fine you i think in my opinion of course you 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 really understand the, the idea behind them you can see like and this is what i'm trying to to do in the in this promo video like you're sitting behind the bar the most regular bar but when you're drinking it you you feel that you want to to a little bit to loosen up to dance in your chair and you know it will make you happy and to imagine that okay i'm in a crazy salsa party now in i don't know in cuba something like that so it's yeah. much more easier to do it with video i think than like talking on just pictures i i think that that's such a fantastic point because uh any anyone can make a promo video right and promo videos can be related uh, and they can be adapted and reformatted to suit any situation. But sometimes, you know, your drink or your concept or your story, your theory doesn't require you to be so visual. Sometimes you have to, you have to, you know, maybe it's more aesthetic in the way that you uh, produce Instagram posts or artworks. It's, maybe it's more, maybe it's more collaborative. You know, like how many charities are you involved in? You know, and, and, and so I think the, the video that promotes your drink and your legacy really needs to be linked in to what it is that your story is, is uh, that's being told is. And, you know, I think you hit the nail on the head when you said that, you know, Guracha is, it, it's an indescribable feeling. You have to see it to understand what it is. Yeah. And, you know, I think you've done a great job with the name as well. Like if you would have called your, your drink, you know, happy feet, it's a little bit too obvious, right? But guracha, yeah. guracha is a, it, it's a made up word. It, guracha doesn't mean anything really, especially for no, non Spanish. It's, it's mean. This is the style that was like. But, the, but what, I'm, what I'm saying is like for someone in Sweden, guracha doesn't mean anything. It's just, it's just a word. So, yeah, yeah. In it's Israel as well, I, I've been like to a lot of guest shifts and then all the bartenders like, what is guaracha? Why, why you name it Guaracha? And I'm like trying to explain them. And they're like, wow, it's really interesting as well because you have like a story behind the, the, the name. You have a story behind the old cocktail and what is like what I'm trying to achieve with it. And as you said, like for community and sharing, um, uh, there is a, a school for special uh, people and I'm trying to do with them a collaboration. So they they will draw on um, how you say it in English oh my gosh let me do Google for a second um, on what you put in like beers um, how you say it? coaster 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 yes coaster so like we're taking an old wood and we're making it like a, in a, a round shape and like I said to him to to paint on it in the way they are like thinking about music. And it's really interesting. And I think that I'm trying to promote now as well. They're already painting. And for for each bar that this cocktail we get, so I want that they will put this cocktail on uh, on these coasters. And like to do really nice, um, I don't know, activity for these people, like Zumba to dance a little bit, or like to bring someone that will play with them, maybe like music. So. To, to really connect it to music and to help the society. Uh, that, that's a perfect uh, activation and, and initiative. And, and um, I know yesterday, you know, we, we were, ah, how, can, how can I best segue this? So yesterday, uh, we, you know, I, I asked Maria, 
uh, how are you going to promote this out? And her response was... <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> that's, pretty was... much, that's pretty much what you said yesterday. Uh, I'm just going to throw it on YouTube. And, yeah. 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 And, but I did it today. <laughs> good, good, good. And I suggested to her, you know, think outside the box, right? You need to get people engaged. You need to get people... Um, talking about this video, watching this video, looking at this video, being exposed to this video. And uh, I was actually thinking about uh, Guracha today, funny enough. And one thing I didn't tell you yesterday, but getting a QR code, right? And if you do, if you do these, um, these uh, artistic works uh, with these individuals, on, these, on the back of these coasters, you can get a little QR code uh, put on the back of there. So when people scan the code, it links right back to your YouTube video. Wow, it's an amazing idea. So you have this full you have this full circle. You yeah. have the video, you have the video, the concept, the activation, the QR code, back to the video, back to the concept, back to the uh, the activation, you know, and it just it just keeps cycling around. And I think the reason why I bring this up is because when you make a video, you really have to think to yourself why am I doing this? You know, it's not just for fun. It's, you know, I need to get people involved. I need people looking at, uh, at what I'm doing because that's, it boils down to raw numbers, right? Yeah. So, uh, did you want to explain to people the, the, the idea I gave you yesterday? Yeah. About, uh, on, uh, screening the video on the walls. Yeah. 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 So Andy, uh, Andy had a great idea. And it's like uh, to go on main streets or busy streets in uh, Tel Aviv, I guess, because it's the, our busy city. And uh, to, uh, to screen my video uh, for um, like one minute or one twenty, uh, how long the video is, or to screen it in bars, like there is a lot of bars. So um, I already uh, did my uh, job today. I started to call some uh, friends and owners of bars that I know. And they suggest them, and then they said that they will think about it. And it's a start. Course, it's a start, of course. This is all. This is how the all things start. I will think about, it, and then you just stop, call, not stop calling them, and then okay, okay, Maria, <laughs> we will do it. <laughs> so it just needs to be to be the the mending, and um, I think it's a really cool idea because um, a lot of people will expose to that and like. You were just walking in the middle of the street and like, oh my gosh, there is a video on a building and it's really nice idea. So Yeah, and you know, it's really key that again, like everything gets linked back to the drink and to the competition, right? So uh, putting the video up on the wall, that's a great start. Making sure that you have the Guracha logo, making sure you have the Bacardi Legacy logo there, and that you know that ticks off your box. And um, one thing I also I thought about today. Uh, Dickie Cullimore, the global ambassador for Bacardi, when I was down in London, he mentioned to a group of us that uh, make sure that people can see your recipe everywhere. Yeah. Okay. So if you were to do, just get simple basic printouts, you know, and if you're if you're at a bar and you're playing that video for that one minute and 20 seconds, just hand out, you know, hand out. I have to yeah. All my guest ships that I'm going oh, there is that with a small uh, with my logo the bacardi logo and the recipe perfect you know and and, and, I, and I think as long as you're making these videos with that full cycle in mind making sure that everything links back then you know you're you have a really great campaign video you have a really great promo and i know for me with cubist cubism is all about fragmenting ideas and, and it's all about taking a single you know a single item and then and, and and watching it from different angles and understanding how the world affects uh how we see things and so my video will be completely different to what Gurache is Gurache is very uh you, good, good, I, did i drop you, out yeah you need to like i didn't hear it for one minute it was stuck okay um so basically i was just explaining uh, what cubist is uh, as a as a drink and as a theory that cubism takes uh, it takes a single item and it fragments it and it breaks it down and we, we're forced as society to look at this 
based off our own perspectives and our, and our own experiences, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, the cubist form is weird. It's strange. It, it's confronting. It, it's it's aggressive. And so my video won't be like Gurdach's video. The the cubist cocktail video. It's going to be weird. It's going to be psychotic. It's going to be schizophrenic. Uh, so again, it's going you know, to make people think. It's amazing. Yeah, and and I think as as long as as long as you understand your concept and you and you have your concept and, and you and you're looking after this idea then your video should reflect all your hard work that you do on social media that you're presenting you know the time that you spent making the drink and coming up with a story you know the video has to be an extension uh, to what that is yeah i think i think that and how long you want to do this video your your uh, um, um yeah i'm looking at about a minute minute 20 you know not too long yeah. um and, yeah um and it's my wonderful partner who puts up with me doing all these radical hangouts all the time <laughs> <laughs> and she's just she's a superstar man i believe it i believe you it Sandra? you're a superstar you're gonna come say hi <laughs> I think she's exhausted with the kids. Yeah. No. She she no, she's exhausted from the kids. She's exhausted from me. She, from me for this competition. <laughs> she's exhausted in this competition. And they come back. <laughs> yeah. But you know, my video uh shout out to, to Brother Ali. Um I'm gonna tag him in this. He's he's an incredible he's an incredible videographer. Um and to link this back to to why I'm using him and and to give advice to people that are watching this, uh, try to find friends who are, who are just starting out, who you know, who they want to spread their wings, that they want to be creative, they want to have an outlet to showcase their abilities and their skills. And um, brother Ali, he's he's a, f- a friend of a friend, and we've worked on uh, a project before. <laughs> I'm gonna step back here. Like a gazelle, baby. Mm-hmm. You're like a gazelle. Um, uh, you know, and, and and he's really new, but but he's really eager. He's really hungry. He's and really yeah, yeah, you know, and and his work is exactly what what I'm after. You know, it, it's really it's really creative. And uh, I asked him, you know, can I pay you? And and if I can pay you, how much should I pay you? And he said, oh, you know, I'm just doing this because you're a friend. But some advice to people. That can't be, that that that, that can't be the, how you treat people. It it can't be this yeah. give no uh, all this take and no give. Would you agree? Yeah, I agree. So this is what I did with my friends, uh, even though like they said like no Maria. So I said, okay, I will still pay you because even for the photographer, because it's much more work for her because she's sitting one week and then editing this and like she sent me one skit and i said like oh can can you please make it a little bit shorter this one I'm, and i'm feeling bad with myself and then like she said yeah no worries no problem and then for my birthday after we released the clip she made me another one shorter so you need to expect something new on instagram Perfect. and and she was like this is this this is my uh, birthday present for you and it was amazing. It's amazing. All and my friends are so like, oh, into in this into this competition. Another friend made me a cake of guaracha. <laughs> I, 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 saw, I saw that. I saw that. It was amazing. I'm, I'm a friend. I think they are much more crazy than me. Really, with their ideas, they're insane. I love them. You know, in this, this is what is wonderful about this competition. Because first of all, you get to meet new people, and then you. You, you get to meet your new, you, like your old friends because they're all the time surprising you how how they want to help you and how like Maria just like let us do something or even my like my mom and my sister like Maria, how can we help you? So th- this is I think the main idea behind the Bacardi legacy, like to, to be more connected to each other. 100% and, and, and those that take this this competition and embrace, you know, the creative side and the connective side they really succeed with whether they win the finals, whether they don't don't even make it out of their country. You know, it's such a great platform uh, to grow both professionally and personally. So 
I, I think creating a video, you know, as long as you're doing it ethically, as long as you're being creative and, and authentic to your concept and to your idea, uh, you're being smart with, with your money and with, with your assets, uh, and, and you have a clear goal with how you're going to, to market this video. Yeah. I think I think these four things are, are what make uh, you know, creating a video the most successful thing uh, that you can do. It's you know, true. I, um, I had, just to, to give a quick little story, when I was in London for this PR boot camp, they gave us a story about um, the, Car the Carter Switchell. It was a cocktail in 2016, I want to say. Uh, that was in the Globals. And Ian Griffiths, uh, the creator, he made this amazing video, right? And he, they did it for free. They were calling in favors from everyone. You know, they were doing, you know, 5 a.m. video shoots. And they put on this amazing film. And the videographer was a friend of Ian's. And he was just starting out. And Bacardi loved the video so much that they, uh, they reached out to the videographer. And they said, right. You work for us now. Wow. You know, Amazing. so if you go into these kind of projects with the mentality of like, okay, I'm going to help everyone that, that helps me, everyone wins. Yeah, it's a win-win situation. Because, you know, and I said to him, like, even though I, like, I paid for them and I said, everything you will need, I will do now. Because, you know, it was such a short call, like, okay, we're shooting tomorrow because tomorrow we can shoot in my restaurant. Can you come? Yes, we will come. And they're changing their schedule and they're changing, like, you know, uh, the hours of their work. Like, okay, I will finish earlier just to come to the shooting. And it's amazing that everybody, like, approaching to it and want to help you. And I think it's a great feeling. Yeah. I like, really I'm, I've been like high for three days, like that we finished to shoot and like, oh my gosh, I have amazing friends. <laughs> it's it, so it really good. is. And, and I think a lot of that comes out in, um, in the video that, 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 that you produced because uh, for, for anyone that, that is just listening to this and like, well, what the fuck are they talking about? Like, go to, <laughs> go, go to Gurach's page, go check out the video. You know, I'm going to link it in, in my Instagram. Um, Gurach on Instagram, you can find it there as well. But it really, it's a video that it's really simplistic in the way that, that, that it's approached, but there's no information that gets lost along the way. You know, the emotion is clear, the message is clear, uh, and it's very reflective of what the drink is. So yeah, congratulations, Maria. It, it's it's a great video. Uh, it's so hard to hear it, really. I'm like, I'm really happy. So thank you very much. You're more than welcome, man. And, you know, thank you so much for, for doing this again. Two days in a row. It's, it's 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 for pleasure, really. And when I'm talking with you, so I have like, okay, I need to do this, I need to do this. So it's I'm setting my, uh, up my mind. So it's good for me as well. And it was amazing talk. Yeah, yeah. We we spoke yesterday about how you know these talks are so beneficial for everyone. Um, yes. You know, you 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 fill me with with good energy. I give you some good ideas. You want to say hi? <laughs> um. And, and I really think you should look into these QR codes, you know, yeah. to, to, com to complete the circle. And, and I think once you complete this circle, then, you know, I think as well, you know, we're working towards a marketing campaign presentation. And if you can show your marketing team, yes, uh, if you can show your marketing team, you know, I made a video, I spent my money wisely. Come say hi to Maria. Hi. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Nice to meet you. You too. I'm just about to go and uh, do a workout in the garage. So I'll pass you on. He's a superstar. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Good stuff. Oh, All right. Um, you know, wow. so as long as you. I've been doing a workout for two months. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I need to get back to it. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Yeah, it's it's been it's been a long time, and it's been 24 hours since we've done it. I want to do a story one second that we finally made it. Okay, let's do. Well, like I was saying, as we get you know our second job on the line here, um, 
if you can go to your marketing team and if you can tell them, you know, I was prepared, I had a clear vision in mind, uh, this is what I've done, this is what I've produced, you know, I think that that, that goes such a long way um, for having a really full and complete uh, campaign. Andy, it was great talking to you. You too. Cheers, Guracha. Cheers, the Cubist. Lechaim. Lechaim. I will make a small one in the. Lechaim. <laughs> mm. Tasty. So. Uh, dude, it's been it's been an absolute honor talking to you and and uh, you as well. And we'll keep in touch. Always, always. All right, bud. Best of luck. Thank you very much. Bye. And it, it's actually it's actually recorded this time. Yes. So you will send me the link. I will send you the link, and you can you can add this into your full circle. <laughs> Amen. Have a good night. Thank you very much. You too. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.